Yo, what up guys? I'm Sammy and welcome back to the Soul Drop. And today we're going to be doing a tier list. So um, tier lists, of course, are lists of tiers. Uh, sorry, that, just, that was just so obvious. <laughs> um, but we're going to be uh, listing all the shoes that you can still get and that are still available for the, basically the past year. And we're going to be putting them into tiers, of course, right? So of course, we have S tier. And S tier is, this shoe is absolutely amazing. You will love this shoe, or most people will love this shoe, of course. But um, yeah, uh, this list is just my personal opinion and what shoes I've liked. And A is, this shoe is really, really nice, but there's like one or two things wrong with this shoe, in my personal opinion. B is, this shoe is pretty nice, but then there's a couple more things uh, wrong with the shoe, you know, more than A, obviously. And then nah is just nah. Don't get this shoe. I don't think this shoe is great at all. Um, so yeah, if you guys do want to cop any of these shoes, I'll try to leave in the free link in the description box. And if you do choose to get any of these shoes, it does help me out if you do choose to buy the shoe from the link. And as always, thank you guys so much for all the support. A lot of you guys were asking for a, uh, a tier list, you know, and I do update it every couple months or so because a lot of shoes have been coming, like a lot. So Anyways, let's get it started right off with the Puma MB3. So uh, yeah, I really do not like this shoe. This is the worst shoe in Lamello's entire shoe line. I like the one the best, or actually the two. One or two, no, one or two are actually pretty dang nice, but the three is just not good. It's stiff, it's heavy, it feels like a boot. Uh, not the greatest design. Also, colorways are in, so just nah, don't get this shoe. It's just not that nice. Uh, yeah, as, as LeVar Ball said, it, it, they're messing up his... Nah, I'm just kidding, but uh, yeah, they're not that nice in my personal opinion, so. MB3, there we go. All right, All Pro Nitro is a easy S or A. Mmm, I honestly, I give it an S. I definitely feel like the uh, the cushion could be a little bit better to push it uh, to S, you know what I mean? Like the cushion's all right, you know, there is a nice little compression, but uh, it's not super balanced here or anything. Um, but overall, the traction is really freaking good on my translucent outsole colorway. I haven't tried the solid outsole, but my friends, they were playing in the solid outsole and uh, they weren't getting as good bites as me, you know? Uh, but overall, you know, thin material, it's supportive, so Pretty much at in between S and A tier. All right, all CD12 by way of weight. I give it a solid A. Uh, I, the traction isn't as good as last year's. Not as good as the AC11. Uh, so that's why I'm docking it down from S to A. Uh, but it's still a really nice shoe. A is still really nice. So like I said, traction isn't the best, but it's also not terrible. You know what I mean? So uh, you're going, still going to get good stocks, but it's not just like a top tier bite. The cushion is absolutely amazing with the full length boom. Uh, it's a really thin material. It's overall pretty supportive. So uh, yeah, yeah, easy A tier. Next, we got the Fission 9. I Same thing. You know what I mean? Uh, the cushion is a little bit higher up off the ground, but we have that soft mesh throw board in the Fission 9, just like in the AC12. The traction, it does get a little bit dangerous if there's a little too much dust buildup, uh, but for the most part, it's pretty dang good if you're playing on a clean court. Uh, so that's why I'm putting it in A tier. Maybe S A tier, you know, in between there a little bit. <laughs> you know what I mean? 8083 Ultra V2 Easy S tier. The traction is phenomenal. We have a drop in full length boom, and uh, you know, the material is really really nice especially for the quality and only for 160 bucks i mean 160 bucks is still pretty expensive but you get knit you know you get carbon fiber you get full length boom it's drop in so uh it's a really really nice performer same thing with uh the 8083 ultra like the regular 8083 ultra and then the regular 8083 and then we also have another 8083 uh, I forgot what it's called, but it's full on knit as well, but it's not like a high top like the V2. So I'm pretty excited about that as well. All right, we got the shadows. So uh, the shadow five, I uh, same thing. Uh, it, the traction is a little iffy. You know, if the traction was a little bit better, if it was like top tier traction, I'd put in S, but the cushion's still really nice. You have a soft mesh showboard. It's supportive. The material quality, especially for the price, is pretty dang nice with that like textile material, you know? So I do like the shadows overall. All right, moving on to <laughs> the AE1. Yeah, you guys already know the AE1 is freaking amazing I guess the only con of that shoe in my personal opinion is the weight it's pretty dang heavy 15.5 it's one of the heaviest shoes that you can get but it's not bulky you know what I mean so uh, I don't really mind the weight and also you feel extremely quick because the traction is so dang good cushion is really low to the ground but you have good stepping cover with that you know strobe board it's jet boost um so yeah it's a really really nice overall performer uh the Dame 8 uh, extended play, yeah, I don't like that. It's just, I wouldn't put it nah, but it's just definitely not one of my favorite shoes. It's really bulky. There's a lot going on in the shoe. It's actually a lot heavier than the regular Damien. You know, I think they increased the weight uh, like two, three ounces, which makes no sense. 
Um, so yeah, not a huge fan of that shoe. Traction is is all right as well. Cushion is way too high up off the ground for me personally. So uh, that's why it's in B tier. Don is U5, easy A tier. You know, uh, one of the best or the best Don issue shoe in his entire shoe line. You know, in my personal opinion, Traction is pretty dang solid. It's not top tier, but solid. Cushion also with the light strike is pretty dang nice. Although I wish the step in comfort was a little bit better. The material is very supportive. Once you break it, it does get a little bit softer, but I definitely would have preferred like a textile, but you know, it's still pretty nice. Uh, in the Don issue five, supports great. Treyong three is a uh, B, borderline nah. You know what I mean? Traction was okay, but it's just so bulky. It's a bulky, bulky shoe because of the midsole and how it's just a long shoe. I don't know what they did with that, but also it's a really, really bulky shoe because it just bulges out for the midsole. You know what I mean? So the cushion's nice though. The cushion's nice. The material's nice, but uh, traction, not the best. And it's a really bulky shoe. It's bulkier than the AE one, right? All right, moving on to the Harding Volume 8. So I give it an A tier, borderline S tier. It's everything. It is very similar to the AE one. However, it's just bulkier, but I don't know. Probably S I'll give it S, you know, borderline S tier, you know what I mean? It's like almost there, it's just, I don't like how like bulky it feels comparing it to the AE1 because of that midsole, especially in the heel, it just bulges out and stuff. So it does feel a little bit bulkier, but um, yeah, I guess I'll put an S tier. It's a really, really nice shoe, amazing traction, cushion is really, really nice, great court feel. I love the inner booty with that like stretchier knit. feels like a sock basically when you put it on. So there's that. Moving on to uh, the Jaw 1, the Jaw 1 easy S. A tier, you know what I mean? The only the only thing I don't oh, okay. The only thing that's not amazing in that shoe is the cushion. Now the cushion is also pretty dang nice though. Like it has a four foot zoom unit, it's top loaded, you have a nice compression in the heel, which feels nice, but it's not as nice as like some of the other shoes on this list, especially S tier. Uh, but like the All Pro Nitro, maybe I'll demote it to A. I don't know, because of the cushion, you know what I mean? Because it's not amazing. So maybe I'll put Jaw One in S tier. Um, but it's borderline S tier, A tier because I, I wish the cushion was a little bit better in the jaw one, but it's still pretty dang nice support. It's great traction, is really good. Uh, so yeah, uh, it's I guess I'll put it in S tier. All right, next to KD sixteen, I put it um, A tier. The only thing for me, since I had the fully translucent also when I tested it, the traction just wasn't amazing on a dusty court. So that's why I'm putting it in A tier. You know, I wish the traction was a little bit better, but if you're playing on a clean court, really, really good bite. Cushion also, of course, is amazing. It's top tier. Support gray material is really thin. So uh, yeah. All right, next we got the Sabrina one. Sabrina one, I same thing. No, it's a very similar performer to the Jaw one, but with a little bit better cushion, but the traction isn't as good as the Jaw one in my personal experience. So uh, that's why you know, it is a little bit iffy, but they're both really, really nice. So that's, I guess that's why I'm putting in S tier, maybe A tier, but yeah, Sabrina one's still super duper nice. Great looking shoe as well. All right, we got the GT Cut 3, easy S tier. Traction is amazing. The only thing I didn't like about it is uh, the fit and also the material quality, but that didn't really hinder performance for me that much. So uh, the traction's really nice. The cushion, it's a little bit on the stiffer side of things, but once you break it in and once you start going, it does get a little bit softer. Um, so uh, yeah, I guess the material quality could be a little bit better and the fit was a little roomy on the roomier side of things in the toe box for me personally. So I didn't like that, but other than that, it's a really, really nice shoe. And I also really like how springy that shoe is, you know? All right, next we got the GT Hustle 2. I get put it solid A tier. The support wasn't the best in that shoe because it's just, there's no support, you know, it's just the material is super duper thin. There's not a lot of torsion support, you know, it just bends for the shoe. The traction also isn't top tier, but I do like the cushion with the full length zoom strobo unit and all that. So uh, I, I put in solid A tier. Zoom DG Jump 2, okay, GT Jump 2, I put in solid A tier, maybe B, borderline B, because it's just it's just really high up off the ground for me. And I like, you know, a little bit more court feel, but of course, if you want crazy cushion, that shoe has crazy cushion. Um, traction also is pretty good. It's not top tier, um, but I do like how thin that upper is while still being pretty dang supportive, right? All right, next we got the LeBron 21, which is easy S tier. Uh, the only thing, there is one con in my personal opinion, which is the performance on a dusty court. So if you let a little too much dust build up, it does start to slide around a little bit and it does get a little bit dangerous, but oh, for the most part, if you keep up with your wipes, you're good to go. Cushion, of course, zoom turbo unit, uh, a lot of compression in the heel as well. Amazing cushion. Uh, material also isn't terrible, you know what I mean? Uh, the quality could definitely be a lot better for $200, but 
on foot. It's thin. It's supportive. Uh, it's a low top, which I like as well. So LeBron 21 S tier. Next gen amped. You know, LeBron next gen amped. I give it a solid S tier. Maybe borderline A tier because it is a good amount heavier. And it's a little bit bulkier as well because it's actually using a very, very thick leather material. You know what I mean? So because of that, I give it an A tier. But for the most part, just like the, the LeBron 21, uh, it, it's a very, very nice shoe, right? All right, the Luka 2s, I gave it a solid B. You know what I mean? The traction was good on a clean court, but it does pick up a good amount of dust. The cushion is not great, however. You know what I mean? So, um, yeah, cushion's very, very stiff. Material's very, very stiff. The overall shoe, like the sole of the shoe is very, very stiff. So, not my cup of tea. You know what I mean? I mean, I don't mind stiffer shoes, but the Luka 2 is really, really stiff. You know what I mean? So, not a huge fan of that shoe. The Tatum 2, I gave it a solid B, A tier. You know what I mean? It's a, it's a nice shoe. You know what I mean? But uh, the traction on dust was a little iffy. You know what I mean? I definitely do wish the traction was better on a dusty court. But for the most part, you know, if you're playing on a clean court, it's pretty dang good. Cushion, I really do like. Materials, once you break it in, I do like as well. And so overall, pretty dang support. So I B, borderline A. You know what I mean? So uh, there's that. Next, we got the Jordan 38 low. I give it a solid A. You know, the only thing I didn't like about that shoe is the traction on dust. You know, there's a lot of Nike shoes. I feel like um, they could do a lot better on dust. You know what I mean? So, uh, but of course, it has full length zoom strobe, which is really, really bouncy. Very, very nice. I don't like how much they cage the actual midsole. You know, so there's not a lot of, or actually there's no compression in the heel. Uh, but I do like the overall material. Um, so yeah, it's a it's an overall really nice shoe. And next we got the uh, GT Cut Academy. I put it easy, solid S tier. I really like playing that shoe. Traction is top tier, guys. You do let a little bit of dust pick up. It does slide around just a little bit, but not as much as the LeBron 21. Uh, the cushion is very, very nice. You know what I mean? It's uh, for 95 bucks, I think that shoe was. Uh, the cushion is soft, you know? It's low to the ground. Impact protection is adequate. Um, I just, I, I wish the stepping cover was a little bit better and I wish it was a little bit bouncier, but overall really nice. Upper, uh, it's actually, I would say it's better quality than the GT Cut 3, <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, but yeah, I do like that, like, thicker mesh material supports great. So, easy S here, uh, especially for the price. Next, we got the Giannis Immortality 3, easy A tier, borderline B. It's just the cushion that, that kind of sucked. The traction, it was nice, you know, but it wasn't top tier. So, that's why it, that also kind of brings it down a little bit. Material quality also isn't the best. Also, uh, it's not the most supportive shoe either because the material is really thin. So, uh, that's why A tier. But overall, like, those things, it wasn't terrible. You know what I mean? Like, not, it wasn't terrible traction or terrible cushion or terrible support so that's why i'm putting an a tier borderline b tier okay moving on to uh the zion 3 zion 3 i give it a solid a slash b you know what i mean there's a, a couple things i don't like about it so first of all is the dust performance dust performance is not good but if you're playing on a clean court has a really nice bite uh the cushion super duper nice i love the formula 23 drop it with the four foot zoom unit that's very very bouncy uh but i don't really like how there's no compression in the heel right Oh, but that's okay, you know, it's curved. Um, but also, another thing I really don't like about that shoe is the fit. It's super narrow, you know what I mean? So just like the Zion 3 and Zion 3 SE, they're both extremely narrow, which I don't like. So uh, I'm, I'm putting in A slash B. I'll just put in B, you know what I mean? So there's that. We got the LeBron Witness 8, uh, put in solid B. Traction is really good in this shoe, right? Traction is really, really nice. However, however... Uh, the cushion is not that nice, you know, and the material, it, it's thin, it's, it's you know, it conforms to your foot very well, but not the most supportive feeling shoe. So, uh, yeah, there's the LeBron Windows 8. Cosmic Unity, yeah, don't, nah, uh, it's, it's booty cheeks, do not get it. Traction's not good, cushion sucks, even though it is using a drop-in, uh, I don't know what they were doing, it's just a really stiff cushion, it's super clunky, very bulky feeling, it's heavy. Uh, material quality is not even amazing, you know what I mean? So it's a nah. All right, next we got the Zoom Freak 5 Easy S tier slash A tier. Um, I, it's very, very similar to like the Jaw 1 and the Sabrina 1 to me. Uh, I do like the cushion. It's a, a four foot zoom unit. And then uh, the heel actually has nice compression and also a little bit of bounce. You know what I mean? Traction was really good for me. Uh, the material quality, of course, is not the best, especially for like the $130, $140 price tag in like in the toe box, like a synthetic leather. But it feels pretty nice on foot. I didn't really have any issues with support. 
Uh, so it's just a really good like guard shoe, which I do like. All right, next we got the Shockwave 5 Pro. I gave it a solid A tier. Uh, the only thing is that the, the traction isn't amazing. You know, uh, if, if there's dust, it does slide around a good amount. Cushion, however, is really nice. N2 foam, uh, you have that very soft mesh showboard. Uh, upper is really nice. It's thin, it's very supportive. Uh, great court feel, so uh, yeah, easy A tier. The GH4 and the GH4 Gordon Hayward shoe, easy S tier. Uh, it's been out for a while, but you can still get it on like Famuji, so that's why I put it on this list. But yeah, traction is really solid. It's not top tier, but it's solid. Cushion also is really nice, just like in all Anta shoes. Uh, and then we have that kind of like lacing system, which improves the lockdown like crazy. It feels absolutely amazing. So yeah, it's a really, really nice performer. Next, we got the Kai One, which is easy S tier. You know, traction is solid, not top tier, but it's really, really nice. And it's very, very consistent on dust and on a clean court. The cushion is one of the most comfortable and plush cushioning setups that you can get right now. as full length N2 foam with that very soft mesh straw board. The upper is uh, soft, you know, once you break it in, but it's supportive. It's overall a very supportive shoe. So and, uh, the Anta Kai one is really really nice same thing with the zap one if you want uh if you want like a little bit more responsiveness you know like a thinner type of feel for the n2 foam there's not as much compression from the n2 foam because it's probably thinner right it has a little bit better cord feel and also it's lighter and uh more minimal feeling than the kai one and if you want that type of shoe then uh, the zap one is really really nice i don't know what it is with anta but the, all their hoop shoes are killing it uh, really really nice performers all right next we got the ag4 right so we, the ag4 you guys already know S tier. I love that shoe. Traction is amazing. Amazing cushioning setup as well. I feel like, you know, they just don't have uh, performers like this. You know what I mean? Because uh, this is Jokic's uh, shoe and I don't like it. Traction is not good. Cushion also isn't that nice. It's actually kind of stiff. Um, so yeah, I just, I, I'm not liking that shoe either. And also the AG4 Soar, which is, it has a drop in midsole, which I was like, yo, this is nice because I love drop-ins, but it's really stiff. Uh, and restricts ankle movement a lot. So also, I didn't really like the sore, uh, but I love the AG4. So there's that. It's also a hundred bucks. You know what I mean? All right, Player One Plus, you guys already know. Amazing, top tier traction, really good cushion, adequate you know impact protection, but good you know, step and cover and stuff like that. Uh, good court feel, very supportive, you know? So uh, I really like the Player One Plus. The Game One, the Game One, I give it a solid A. You know what I mean? The traction is solid, but not top tier like the Player One Plus. Uh, it had, also has that drop in midsole. Uh, it is very supportive, but it does feel a little bit bulkier and heavier than the Player One Plus. So that's why I'm docking it down a little bit to A, but still an overall very nice performer. Next, we got the AR1, the AR1 Easy S tier. Uh, I love the traction. It's one of the best tractions that you can get. The cushion also is very responsive. Um, not the best for cushion, but it does have a soft mesh drawer, which does improve it a little bit. Uh, overall, very supportive uh, in the upper. Quality is really good, especially for the $100 price tag. All right, we got the Fresh Foam BB V2, which is like an A tier. I, I love the cushion, but it's a little bit high up off the ground. Traction, it does slide out a little bit, which I don't like as well. Uh, the upper quality is great. It conforms your foot very well and uh, supports great. I just don't like how high up you are. And also the traction is a little bit slippery on a dusty court. The 2A V4, I give it a solid A as well. You know, or maybe borderline S tier. It's a really, really nice shoe. The traction is very solid. Cushion is super comfortable. I say it's around the Fresh Foam BB V2 cushion, you know, but it just has better traction, right? The Hezi Low, I give it a solid A. You know, tr a cushion is pretty lacking. Traction is is okay, um, but overall it's pretty nice. You know what I mean? It's not amazing, but it's pretty nice. That's why I'm putting an A tier, borderline B tier. Kobe 8 Pro Show, you guys already know S tier. I love that shoe. Uh, cushion dropping, traction is absolutely amazing. Really consistent. Support's great. It's a really thin upper as well, which makes it feel minimal. The Curry 4 Low Floatro, uh, where's the Curry 11? Maybe something happened when I was importing it, but a uh, Curry 4 Low fl Floatro and all the Curries with Flow, uh, easy like A tier. The cushion definitely could be a little bit better. And also uh, performance for traction on dust isn't the best. But other than that, if you're playing on a relatively clean court or really clean court, traction is amazing. Cushion is responsive with adequate impact protection. So that's why A tier. Uh, same thing with the Spawn Floatro, right? A tier, I love the material and how thin it is and all that. For some reason, uh, the book one and some other shoes didn't come into or they weren't imported correctly so um yeah i'll just do those real quick um but yeah the book one i gave it a solid a tier right uh, the cushion was nice it's plush but the forefoot impact protection wasn't the best uh, also the fit isn't the best either uh, it's just super duper tight 
Um, but you know, you can just go up half or full size if you want. And then uh, the support wasn't the best. You know, there's nothing as far as the lateral counter goes in the forefoot. Uh, so that's why I probably put it A tier, maybe borderline B tier uh, compared to all the other shoes that are already on this list. But um, for the most part, you know, the book one is pretty dang nice. And then next, of course, we got the JB2. The JB2 is from Leaning and also the Liren 4, right? So Liren 4 and the JB2, easy, amazing S tier shoes. You know, the, I love the cushion. They're both really really bouncy i say the Liren 4 is a little bit bouncier the traction also is really nice however i would say uh the jb2 is a little bit better on dust uh, the Liren 4 picks up a little bit more dust and, you know the herringbone is a little bit closer together um but for the most part support's great and the quality of the material is really nice so uh yeah those are easy s tier you know Liren 4 and also the jb2 so uh, there is my tier list right and look at how many amazing shoes there are you know, so uh, yeah, a, a lot. Of, if you can, try to get any of these shoes in the S tier because I love playing in all of these shoes. Um, but that about wraps it up. Again, if you guys want to get any of these shoes, I'll try to leave the free link in the description box. And also, if you disagree with the list, that's okay. Uh, it's just my opinion. Tell us your opinion down in the comment section below. But that's it. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.